Guys, we have a lot of options with sleeping bags, with different ways to, you know, to be able to sleep in the outdoors comfortably. But one thing they used for a long time were bed rolls. And, you know, there could be a time where you may not have a sleeping bag or you need an extra uh, bed roll or something for people to be able to sleep on. And so this is just the old way they used to do it. And so we're going to go through some of the features of making one of these just really heavy duty bed rolls in case you ever find yourself in a bug out situation or you're just out on the trail and you want something a little different. Now one of the first things you want to do is put down some kind of bedding uh, to be able to lay on. Uh, one of the ways that your heat is pulled from your body is from the earth. I mean, it'll pull it right through. So definitely just using uh, some leaves. One of the things you want to do is make sure that you get sticks and rocks out of those leaves. Of course, pine needles and definitely a, one of the, the foam mats would be great but you definitely need something to insulate from the earth. Now it's really easy just to strap this up. We just have some simple paracord pulled in here and I'm actually using the eyelets to be able to attach this. Uh, you can use really canvas belts, things like that. Rope even will work. Uh, and obviously if the paracord will work, rope will work, but we can use this paracord for other things. And so first thing, we just go ahead and strap it and we just can pull this loose, pretty simple. And uh, you know just get it to where we do have a handle right here which makes it nice and you can actually make this longer to be able to fit across your body now this is a treated tarp uh, it is a little stiff but the more I use it, it's kind of oiled so this is going to keep this from soaking any kind of moisture I love these tarps I got this at tractor supply but you can get different type tarps some of them softer but this one again has been treated I like that now I'm gonna unroll it what's inside is a wool blanket and this is going to be my insulation. So we're going to just unroll this out. Next, we're going to go ahead and just open this up. And as you can see, because of the way it's rolled, we want our wool blanket to actually be inside of a tarp. As you can see, the tarp's underneath. I have my blanket on top. Uh, this blanket, I got this on eBay. It's just a wool surplus. I believe it's a Swiss Army blanket. We're going to want to put this at an angle. As you can see, the bed of leaves is underneath, but it's also cut at an angle. I have each corner from the head down to the toe. First thing we want to do is to bring in this bottom section. You're going to want to wrap it around your feet. Then we're going to take this section, pull it over. Of course, you're going to get leaves on it, but that's just part of it. We're going to bring this section around, and we're going to tuck it. So everything is tucked in. Again, I'm on my bed of leaves. Bring this down. Now I can pull it under. And if I want to, I can even pull this up over. So really, I can get myself tucked in here. I can even loosen this up at the feet to be able to bring this over even more. So this allows me to cover my head at night. Or if I want to leave it open, I can. Uh, in case it's inclement weather. This just brings it over. So now it's almost like a cocoon. So I have everything laid out, keeps me warm. And I'll tell you what, this is really warm. This wool blanket really helps. Then of course, if you wanna get out, just open it up. It's really fast to be able to get out of this thing a lot faster than it would be for a sleeping bag. Now guys, you can use a plastic tarp with a, uh, with a wool blanket, or you can even use fleece. It would be a lot lighter but I wanted to kind of show it with this material that they used to use in the Old West or during the Civil War. You know, using that canvas, a lot of times it was treated oil on it or waxed, and then, you know, it, it allowed for, you know, moisture and things like that to just wick off. Uh, and so that's important. You don't want to wake up with a big blanket and just be soaked to the bone. Uh, that can be, you can be even worse off. And so this way we have protection from the elements. And then of course, if you have some kind of tent or some kind of shelter, that would be even better. 
But one of the things about the canvas or the tarp would be that it would, you know, any wind or anything like that, it would be able to shield you from that. And so a lot of interesting things to be able to take. Guys, unfortunately, we're so used to buying items that are specific for whatever need, like a sleeping bag. But again, sleeping bags have only been around for, you know, probably about 100 years or so. And this is the way that people that were outside all the time survived. And what I do is to bring it in about halfway. And you want to get a lot of these leaves off that you can, but obviously it's going to be, you know, you're outside. Then we'll just go ahead and bring this side over. And this makes it a little more manageable to be able to roll up. Again, you want to make sure that you roll this up as tight as you can to get it going. And we got it rolled up. So guys, again, this is just a very simple way to be able to protect yourself, keep yourself warm in the outdoors, and typically things that you may have just around the house. So it's always good to have a good tarp around for sure, uh, a wool blanket, or you know, even like we talked about, just a fleece blanket with a, a tarp, a plastic tarp will work. And guys, remember that in the rule of threes, you can only live about three hours in harsh conditions. So it's best to protect yourself. And guys, if you're serious about prepping and survival, check out Survival Dispatch Insider. Some of the top names in the survival community are contributors there on Survival Dispatch Insider. We upload one video a week on the Insider. I'll have a link down below in the description. Check it out. So be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.